it's break time at the wine harvest. More than 120 casual laborers are working here today. The vineyard is the biggest employer in the region south of Plovdiv, Bulgaria's second largest city. Petranka Asanova says she'll have work here until the first snow falls. She's been working here on and off for the last nine years. We're glad the vineyard is here. We can earn money here and feed our families. My daughter is working over there. My sister-in-law is there. And up there is my father. The vineyard lies in the foothills of the Rodope Mountains. Around 14 million euros has been invested here over the last 10 years. Stefan von Nijperg manages the vineyard. He also manages vineyards in Bordeaux in France. Stefan von Nijperg knows that good wine depends on a lot of things, including good workers. And there are plenty of those here. There are lots of fruit and vegetable farmers in the region here around Plovdiv. It's pretty easy to teach a person who works on vegetable or fruit farms how to work in a vineyard. They know what fruit is good, and they know what fruit is bad. And soon they learn how to remove the grapes they wouldn't want to eat. The two charge hands want to know which area is next up for harvesting. But Making good wine depends on picking the grapes at the right time. How much juice do the grapes have? What does the skin taste like? And how hard are the pips? It rained a lot in the last few weeks. Von Nijpak believes the grapes have too much water. Yes, water. Water. <laughs> they need to wait before picking in certain areas. The grapes lose water during cold nights, then we get a higher concentration. This is important for the big red wines. We need more skin and less juice. The weather forecast is good for the next few days with lots of sun and no rain. Stefan von Neiberg is a star of the wine business. In the year 2000, he produced one of the best wines in the world at the La Mondotte vineyard in France. There are around 300,000 major collectors in the world. They spend money on special wines. They collect the world's best wines, and they're prepared to pay any amount for them. They want their wine collection to be complete. And today, La Mondotte belongs in such a collection. The wines made here are in a different category. They cost around 10 euros per bottle in European supermarkets. The wines mature in oak barrels for 18 months. The vineyard produces 600,000 bottles a year, most of which are sold to China and elsewhere in Asia. In Europe, wines from Bulgaria have a bad reputation, which von Nijpag says is unfair. After all, he's putting his good name on the line to produce here. The wine is called Enira, after a Thracian princess who lived in this region 2,000 years ago. Tradition is important to this winemaker. A family business is a long-term investment in a region with history. It's not possible without the people. 
It's important for me to have a long-term view on the business model. It could take a long time for Stefan von Neipag's Bulgarian wine to get the recognition that his French products have already achieved. But he's convinced that his investment will pay off in the long run.